Hello consultants. In today's video, I will show you how to manage SAP sessions with standard function modules. I use the function module TH user list to display locked in users of an instance and the function module TH delete user to delete sessions. So let's open the window SE37 the transaction for the function builder and here let's open the function module th user list and execute it then we see a result set of three entries let's click on it and here we see the logged in users of my instance we see two sessions of the dev user and one session of the dev user 2 we see also the use transaction code and additionally we see that the dev user is logged in on two different PCs. So uh, on the column type you see the number 4 that means this is a dialog user and you see the version of the SAP GUI. If the type is 32 that means that's the, that the user is a RFC user. We see also the IP address here. Yes, in uh, my example today, I want to end the session of the dev user 2 with the transaction SE10. And this is the transport organizer. So that is the window of the logged in user dev user 2. And now let's open a new session a new transaction SE37 and let's call the function module TH delete user. Let's execute this function module. So let's open the other window again. So now we, uh, we have to put in some values here. First, I type here the username, dev user2, then the client, then the TID, it's 5 for dev user2, and the logon ID here I have to type minus 1 because it don't work with 0. And let's execute the function module and we see here the ABAP session was closed by the system administrator. And we see the session is gone. Okay, what is not interesting, or what is uh, additional interesting here in this function module, if we open the attribute tab, we see here it's a remote enabled module. That means that you can use this function module in a remote system as well and you can read the locked user from another system. Yes, uh, that was it already. If you like the video, I would be happy if you give me a thumbs up. You can also leave me a comment. I always enjoy reading them. Also subscribe to my channel, of course, only if you like my videos. Well then, until my next video. Thank you and see you soon.